ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் யூடியூப் சேனல் பூமி வேர்ல்ட் ஹோப் எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் டூயிங் குட் இன் அ லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் பூமி ஹோம் பேஜ் ஓவர் யூ இஃப் யூ ஹேவன் வாட்ச் மை லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் கோ ஆன் செக் இட் அவுட் நோ ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் இன்டிகிரேஷன் சர்வீஸ் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வி ஷுட் நோ வாட் இஸ் இன்டிகிரேஷன் அண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் இன்டிகிரேஷன் இன் பூமி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி லுக் இன் டு வாட் இஸ் இன்டிகிரேஷன் integration is a combination of software or hardware components or both into an overall system which means transferring the data between one system to another system now types of integration there are two types of integrations in bhumi one is a to a integration or application to application integrations and b2b integrations or business to business integrations so now the question is what is a to a integration or what is b2b integration right let's talk about these in details first what is a to a integrations a to a integration means integrating data or system within a single organization which means transferring the data between two applications like netsuite to salesforce or salesforce to database or database to success factor etc so these kind of integrations are called as a to a integrations coming to b to b integrations what is b to b integrations b to b integrations means integrating data or systems across two or more organizations which means transferring the data between one organizations to another organization suppose assume that you started one company and you need some laptops and mouses for etc for that we need to connect with one company who is selling the laptops and mouses right so here integrating the data between these two organizations are called as the b2b integrations so this is all about types of integration next we can discuss about steps in integration so what are the steps so in bumi we need to perform three steps to complete one integrations those are build deploy and then manage so first of all based on the requirements we need to build the integration step by step after that we need to deploy the integration into atom or molecule whatever it is and the third and final step is managing or monitoring the deployed integrations so first we can look into integration page overview and then we can look into building an integration so this is the integration page and here we can implement our integrations if you see here top right corner integration is there which means you are an integration service page and next we have dashboard drop down button under dashboard we can see account dashboard http status dashboard and real time dashboard on account dashboard page we can see summary of recent activity within your account like offline items process errors execution count document count etc on the http dashboard page we can see summary of logs on a particular item or environment during a specified period of time like status code summary and status codes by time so all these statuses related to the http logs on real time dashboard page you can view summary status of low latency process there you can find execution status by time execution status average response time process summary report etc so we can discuss all these topics in future and next we have build button so here we can build our integrations okay and next we have deploy drop down button so here we can deploy our integrations into atom or molecule so under deploy we have package components deployments and integration packs once we complete the build part we need to deploy our integrations into any environment so before deployment we need to create one package on package components page we can see all package components which created after build mode 
or you can create new package component from here itself we can discuss all these topics clearly once we create an integration on deployment page you can see past deployed components or you can directly deploy any package components from here and next we have integration packs an integration packs is nothing but one or more package components or apis on integration packs page you can see integration packs and next we have manage button after deployment we need to monitor or manage our deployed processes under manage we have process reporting atom management bhumi azure process library on trading partner management topics on process reporting page we can find information about process executions documents logs etc so in coming videos we can discuss process reporting page in detail on atom management page we can find atoms molecules environments related information etc so here we need to create our environments and then we need to configure our atoms or molecules etc in coming videos we can discuss how to create environment and then how to attach atom atom configuration all the stuff and next we have bhumi azure we can use bhumi azure to submit our integration processes and data to bhumi for testing against future releases which means every 15 days once or 30 days once bhumi will release some new features to the bhumi platform to test against those features we can submit our integration processes from here and next we have process library on process library page you can publish your package process into the process library bhumi provides lot of templates in process library which we can install into our accounts and next we have trading partner management under trading partner management page we can view or add or edit any trading partners which we already created and now we can look into actual integration page if you see on left side we have one block which is called component viewer and this is account name which will look like tree model if you create any processes all those will appear here and beside that we have create button from here we can create any component and if you scroll down we have some blocks here by clicking this plus button we can create any new process and beside that we have some inbuilt process templates by clicking on any template we can install templates into our account coming down we have recently opened tab here you can see recently opened processes or recently opened other components like connections operations maps etc and left down corner we have process library button by hitting that button one pop up window will appear and here you can find all built in process templates from here also you can install those processes into our account yeah this is all about integration in this video we discussed about what is integration and types of integration and then integration page overview in our next video we can discuss about environment creation and atom setup hope you all understand today's topic if you have any doubts or inputs on today's topic let me know in comment section yeah that's it for today's video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye